Hello Taurus, welcome back to Femacy Lighthouse. Thank you for joining me here today. In this reading, we're gonna be taking a look at the recent past, the present, and the future when it comes to a love connection that continues to conflict you. To book your private reading with me, all of that info is below along with all of the price listings. And the best way to be notified as to when I put out any new content is by following me on Instagram. The link to my IG is below. And as always, not each and every Taurus watching me is gonna feel like this is their message and that's okay. All right, let's get right into what's going on with your person in the recent past. Let's find out how they feel about you in the recent past. Spirit, please speak to me in reference to Taurus's person and how they view Taurus in the recent past. How do they feel about Taurus in the recent past, please? Spirit, please speak to me in reference to how Taurus's person views Taurus in the recent past. Okay, so this wanted to come out. Tell me more about how this person is viewing Taurus in the recent past. How do they feel about Taurus in the recent past? One more, please. How do they feel about Taurus in the recent past? Hmm. All right, so in the recent past here, I see that you are heavily on this person's mind. However, they are continuing to resist you. All right, they're still in this energy of not wanting to come forward. They think about you often, but they feel like there's nothing that they can do about the situation right now when it comes to the both of you. It's like they wanna take action toward you, but they're choosing not to. And they're trying to be strong about it because it is difficult for them. They do desire you, they do want to come forward. But at this point, they feel that it would be a waste of time or that it would just end up in an argument, a confrontation, or some sort of disaster. And they're trying to avoid that. Okay, talk to me about the present. That was the recent past. Talk to me about the present when it comes to how Taurus's person feels about Taurus. Talk to me about the present, please. Spirit, please talk to me about the present when it comes to how Taurus's person is currently viewing Taurus in the present moment. How does this person view Taurus in the present moment, please? So I still feel like they're being guarded, okay? They're just acting like this isn't important to them, but I feel like it is because again, they can't stop thinking about you here with the hangman in reverse. So, you know, um, their brain is definitely illuminated with what you're up to and how you're doing. They could just be viewing you on social media and just watching you from a distance, okay? But I feel like they stubbornly are choosing to not entertain this right now. They don't want to give to it, okay? and you do make them feel good and this is a temptation but for right now they feel like there's no purpose they feel like the connection is toxic and they're convinced of that and i feel like perhaps they spoke to someone else who has influenced them on what path to take or what actions to take okay Talk to me about the future when it comes to Taurus and the energy that Taurus oh, is dealing with. Talk to me about how this person is viewing Taurus. How does this person... Wow. Okay, so this is what I'm seeing. You both 
are in this energy of not wanting to deal with each other, but because of difference of opinions, not because you both don't love each other, because I see that you both do. However, the both of you aren't getting what you want right now, but I don't see either of you moving on from each other. You both are stuck on each other, but you're not wanting to entertain the conversation. Someone's not wanting to text or FaceTime or do the things that they used to do because they didn't get the response that they wanted or someone's not giving them enough attention. You know, someone here wants more and they're not getting it. You guys just aren't communicating enough. And I just feel like this whole argument, if, if there's an argument here, or this whole disagreement is a waste of time. Because with the chariot in reverse and the six of swords in reverse, you both still want each other. It's like your person is imbalanced without you and you are off balance without them. You both are off balance. Okay, because you're showing up in reverse and so are they. Now, let's clarify what this person thinks about because in the recent past here, all they do is think about you, but they don't want to move toward you, all right? So please clarify the hangman in reverse, please. Hangman in reverse. Yeah, it's like... You are their Ten of Cups and they want to move toward you. However, it's, again, it's something that you said or it's your aggressive nature that intimidates them. There's something that you're very aggressive about when it comes to the situation between the both of you and they feel that that's the reason why they have to stay away right now. But you are their Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups coming out on top of this hanged man energy. All right? It's just this pure energy of avoidance. You both are kind of avoiding each other, but you both really want each other. So it's challenging. And I know it's challenging for the both of you because... It seems like this is dragging on. And I know you're questioning as to how long are we going to keep doing this, right? Because I know Taurus does not have a problem being open and talking about things. But for some reason, your person feels like they don't have to give you an explanation, that they don't have to have these long conversations with you about these things. And that's why you guys are bumping heads because you want answers, Taurus, and they feel like they don't have to give them to you. Clarify the Two of Swords energy. Clarify the Two of Swords energy for Taurus's person. Guarded, blocked. Mm -hmm. The Empress, Four of Swords in reverse, and the Hierophant. Okay, so they're acting again like they don't want to grow with you, that this is something that they need to stop thinking about, but then you're showing up in the upright, right? So Empress reversed. No, I don't want to nurture this. I don't want to grow with Taurus. I want to drop this. Four of Swords in reverse. But then the Hierophant is in the upright. So it's like, no, this is what you really want. Why are you lying to yourself or making something more difficult? You know, that's, that's what I feel like you want to communicate to your person. Are you trying to prove a point? What are you trying to prove? We're only getting older. We're not getting younger. So what is all of this chaos about? Clarify the Hierophant for this person. Why is the Hierophant here? Yeah. 
Yeah. They want to come together. <laughs> they act like you don't know them already. You know, they act like <laughs> they're so transparent right now. Right? There is nothing opaque about this person. You see right through them. It's like, all right, you're trying to run away, but I know you want to get together with me anyway. So why are you fronting? I can't wait until this energy changes. You've been like this for like a month and a half now or more. All right. Talk to me about the temperance in reverse in the future here. Why is the temperance in reverse for the future? Why is the temperance in reverse for the future here? Somebody's hiding something. Sun in reverse. Tell me more. And then we have this five of wands. So what is the drama about? Five of Wands energy. What is that about? What is the Five of Wands about? Yeah, about the fact that your person doesn't want this to end with you, but they keep treating you like shit. Let's be honest. Right? It's like, all right, you don't want to lose me, but look at how you're treating me. And then when I tell you how you treat me, you don't want to take accountability. And that's what Taurus has a problem with, that right there. The fact that your person does not want to take responsibility for how this seems like it's falling apart. It's like you're trying to save it, Taurus, and they are doing the most to make you feel some type of way. They do want a new beginning here. World reverse, the magician. They want a new beginning with you, but they trying to front like they don't want to talk. So what, they want to be chased? And I feel like Taurus is in the mood of not chasing. Like Taurus is not going to chase. Either you prove to Taurus that you want to be in Taurus's life or Taurus is going to be out. Because even if we love somebody, we will walk away in pain. That's how we are. Even if it hurts, we will walk away. We will get over that shit. Trust me. But somebody thinks that they can keep pulling your strings. Somebody thinks that they can keep doing this shit with you and that you're not going to get tired. What's the outcome here? What is the outcome here? The outcome here for these two, please. All right, this is good. All right, so five of cups in reverse. So coming out of a period of feeling depressed, whether it be you or the person that you're dealing with, I feel like this person is going to reach out to you, Taurus, and you guys are gonna have a conversation here, Ace of Swords, all right? Because this person still wants you. I don't care what they say. I don't care if they watch this and shake their head. The energy is all over the table and you know how direct I can be. If you get your, fe your feelings hurt, you know, easily, this is not the place for you because you guys know me already. I'm going to be honest and straightforward, straight to the point. And I see here that, you know, Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands, like this person still wants you. And there's going to be a conversation here. Look at that. Four of Wands. Now, let's pull an angel card for you for some advice. Spirit, please speak to me in reference to Taurus and... The moon. The opportunity to improve your plans. Listen to your intuition for accurate guidance. Face your fears and grow stronger. There is opportunity for you guys to improve. All right. And I see here that 
there will be communication between you guys because you both want the same thing. But I feel like someone needs to drop the ego, okay? Whether it be you or your person, the ego needs to go. It's killing the progress between you two, okay? One more card. There, please talk to me, all right? See? Peace with Moni Love. So I definitely feel like you guys will be receiving peace in this situation pretty soon, okay? I know it seems like it's not gonna happen or it's not coming. It's on its way in because this energy has been like this for too long and it's time to switch it up. I just feel like, you know, your person is gaining more realization on what it is that they want and they want you. They know they want you. They're just trying to fight that. They're trying to fight it off. But, you know, you can't, this person can't fake it for too much longer. That's the energy that I'm getting towards. All right, so that's what I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. To book your private reading, all of that info is below. And take care.